building with another video. If this is your first time here ever at the Key in the Building YouTube page, I suggest you hit that bell for all of the notifications whether I go live or upload videos such as this one. It is week two of the Key in the Building merch giveaway. Last week we did do a question, so we're going on to week two. And the question for the week, and remember, I will be picking two drawings at the end of the month uh, for some key in the building merch. So week two's question is, and uh, so this is a flyers question, who was a part of the Legion of Doom? Again, who was a part of the Legion of Doom. What three players were named the Legion of Doom? So definitely make sure y'all inbox me, DM me, key in the building on IG. Make sure you're following me and DM me the question to the answer to the question. Do not put it in the comments. Again, who was a part of the Legion of Doom for the Flyers? Make sure y'all hit that bell, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. But let's get down to the nitty gritty of this video. As y'all see, I'm just passing Lincoln Financial Field. Yesterday's performance. Eagles end up losing at home yet again. Cannot win at home. We're 0-4 at home. And I really thought going to this game, we had it. I'm not, I can't say I was mad at this game were upset. I was more upset with the defense. Jonathan Gannon, I'm sorry, sir, but you have got to go. Derek Barnett, a key penalty when we could have had the charge off the field. The tight ends, all three of them, Anderson, Parham, Jared Cook, we couldn't stop. Couldn't stop. Eckler, we contained. He didn't go off. It was more of Keenan Allen. He had over 100 yards in receiving, but he didn't have a touchdown. Eckler, he kind of controlled him a little bit, the rushing game. It's just our defense could not cover and stop us all when we needed possessions and stops. I, I just don't get it and understand why we just, I, I don't know, we wasn't blitzing. We wasn't doing anything. Wasn't doing anything at all. And I believe, I forget who said it was at Hargrave. He came out and said, he just said he just goes out there and does what he's told. Obviously, clearly the players don't understand what this defensive scheme is. Um, Slate did get hurt. He had a hamstring injury. He left. He didn't come back. And Maddox also left with a knee injury. He didn't come back. Um, they did have the rookie uh, Zach McPherson in there. Marcus Epps did get some key hits and tackles. TJ Edwards did okay, but it's just like I feel like when we, we just couldn't stop the Chargers offense to save our lives. We ended up losing by a field goal, 27-24. And then we stopped them on the fourth, on the third down to get the fourth. We all know that the sneak was coming. We couldn't stop Justin Herbert from the sneak. I'm not going to put this on the, deep, on the offense today because the offense showed up. It was slow in the beginning, but the offense showed up. I just feel like Sirianni may be learning a little bit, but he still got some work to do. Keep Jalen Hurts under center and use the play action to set up the pass. He's better under center, so that way he can step into his throws. He cannot step into his throws in the shotgun. He's already back there. And uh, that throw, he overthrown Goddard, a wide open Goddard. That could have been points. Could have been points. He he didn't throw it enough to hit Devontae Smith. And you seen Devontae Smith talking about some loud enough, let me go for it. So I mean little mistakes. I just feel like have Jalen Hurts under center. Have him under center. And he ran and got some key first downs that we needed, especially the Superman flip to get the first down. He used his feet to get the first down. So let's Offensively, let's, let's let's keep this together. Let's keep the running game going because of Bergen. And the Chargers 
run defense was the last day. Run defense stinks, and we still couldn't beat them. Oh, man, I, I'm, it's, it's time. It's I, I I don't know where we found Gannon from. He doesn't know his defensive schemes. He don't know where people need to be. Something has got to give. And Gannon, this this loss was on you, bro. This loss was on you. Players are only going out there and doing what they're told to do. Barnett, this loss is on you too because of that penalty. So, but something got to give. We going into Denver next week. Denver did beat a Dallas Cowboys team who was a hot Dallas Cowboys team, 30 to 16. But Denver's definitely beatable. Um, I mean, we're good away. Maybe we can beat Denver away, and then we got to come back home and beat the Saints. So, it's it's, it's a tough schedule. We got the the Saints. Got the Saints, Denver, and I think Giants, Jets, then we go on a bye. So, I mean, the later half of the season, this schedule is definitely some winnable games. I just feel like Jonathan Gannon's got to go. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about Jonathan Gannon and his defensive scheme. Is it time for him to get his pink slip? I think it's time to get his pink slip. But that's all, as always, guys, in the building. I'll see y'all in another video.